guys! Today I'm going to show you how this Scrib 3D 3D pen works. So let's go! to connect that in the lower hole on the back of the 3d pen and this is what it looks like and I'll put the link in the description for the pen and there are instructions two packs of filament and a guide on where you can make like a cycle or glasses butterfly puzzle pieces stuff like that and you can use the guide to make that stuff but we are going to make some other stuff so now i'll show you how to make it work after it heats up all the way you'll get a green light like this and then you can start filling it with your filament. Just to demonstrate, I'm going to use the filament that came in the packaging, but you can use different types of filament, but you have to pick which type of plastic that is on the pen before starting. And I'm going to take one end and go to the back where you put the wire in. And now press start. It'll make a noise. And then you need to put the wire in at the back, that, and then should start to go in. You can check if it goes in or not by holding your hand and it's moving, so it's going in. And then you have to wait for it, some to come out, and that might take a little while. So when it comes out, I'll show you. So it started coming out, and as you can see, like kind of dripping down i'm just gonna keep it towards the ground and then you can stop it that was just to see if it comes out or not and yeah now since it came down throw the little piece away you can recycle the plastic and let's make stuff now so just to practice, we're going to make a little hanger for your dolls or anything else you want it for. And let's go. For about five seconds, if you go anywhere, it will start to retract. So then you just need to push the forward button again and then it will start heating up again. And that doesn't take too long. Okay, so now, in my experience, doing it on a piece of paper or cardstock or anything else is better than doing it on a silicone mat because um, it sticks to the mat. It doesn't stick to the mat, sorry. And that makes it hard to make it move. And yeah. Now, press the forward button and wait for a little bit and it should start coming out. Yeah, like that. And now that it started coming out, to practice, you can write a word. I'm going to write love. So it just should just come out really smoothly. It's really hot, so do not touch it. And then when you're done, just keep it at that place. And Press the forward button and it will stop. And now that I've written this, written this um, you can make, wait about a minute or you can just like touch it. Oh yeah, it's like cooled. So I can take it out, take it off. And 
and it's pretty flexible, but it can hold a little bit of weight. So, yeah. And now we're going to actually make something. So let's do that. So I'm gonna make a mini hanger first with the 3D pen. And if some excess comes off, you can just like take it off really carefully. And nope, whoa, yeah. It started retracting and you can just push the forward button and wait for the green light again. Okay, now for the shape of the hanger, I'm just going to draw it out, but you can draw with the pencil first if you don't uh, don't want to mess up. So, I'm just going to draw shape of the hanger with the 3D pen carefully as the filament comes out. And I'm going to draw the hook and go back. I'm going to draw a line right here just to make it more sturdy. You can go over your lines to make it sturdier. And when you're done, again, just push the forward button and you can do that. And now you can just kind of play with it if you want to shape it correctly. It is really hot, so be careful. And yeah. And yeah, mine's dry, so I'm just going to peel it off. I'm doing this on cardstock, but you can do it on normal paper. And you have a really sturdy hanger. It does bend a bit, but that's okay. And you can put some doll clothes in it. Now, to change the color of the filament, you need to press the backwards arrow for five seconds. Hello? Whoop. Okay, yeah. press the backwards arrow for five seconds. Yeah. And now it'll start to come out and if you don't know if it's coming out or not, you can put your hand there and yeah, it's coming out. So, yeah. Wait for it to come out, it might take like a minute or two and then you can change the color. Now after the filament comes out, I'm just placing it to the side and now if you want a different color, which I'm going to take some other color, I have some more filament. And I'm going to use, let's see. Let's use this orange color. And it comes in all sh uh, sizes. So you need to pick what type of filament you want and which type of plastic. And yeah. So I'm going to take a side. And then, like we did when we started, press the forward arrow, and then push it in a bit. It should start taking it in. Yeah, it's taking it in. And then just wait. I'm gonna take this off. Yeah. And then it will eventually come out, and yeah. It starts to come out at the end. It will be the color that you had before and not the new color. You need to wait and you'll gradually get the new color. So like, yeah. Now I'm starting to get it and then I can stop it. Like that. And then take this off. Throw this away or you can like shape it and then have it as like a little ball or something. But I'm just gonna throw it in the recycling bin. And yeah. And now we can make something else. 
Now that I've showed you how to make this work, I'm going to have a part two, link in the description, and um, in that we're going to actually make some stuff, and um, see you there. Bye. Mm -hmm.